This is Lewis Ritson and you're watching Sport Icons. So there's quite a few reports out today that Alexander Povetkin and Anthony Joshua have a deal to fight in September. Now, just to clear up a couple of little things around that, of course, um, the deal for September fight was something that the WBA ordered, as in, if you can't get Deontay Wilder, then you must fight Povetkin. There's no, there's no other opponent out there that we would allow you to sidestep a mandatory for. Now, people say, well, why is it Joshua is willing to go to Russia? but not willing to go to America to fight Wilder. Well, again, we've covered this because it's undisputed. It's a very, very simple answer, isn't it? Him fighting Povetkin is not for undisputed. We want undisputed on British soil. We've never had it before. That's what we want. So if Wilder was not the other champion, he would have no problem going to America next and fighting Wilder. But because it's undisputed, hence the reason why here. Also, he never said that he's willing to go to Russia. He said if push comes to shove, then if necessary, they may actually vacate the WBA title rather than go to Russia. Facts being because there's like a lot of shady stuff going on over there. Allegedly, I don't know how much of this is true, of course, with like doping and spiking of drinks and all that kind of thing. I don't know if it's true. But for me, you guys and the guys on the other side of the pond, the guys who can't stop talking about Eddie Hearn and their hatred, Anthony Joshua and their hatred and of course they want to drag me into it as well because I'm a supporter of British fighters hey that's fine they can't stop talking about me oh that's fine all they're doing is bringing traffic all that kind of thing but of course with these people come trolls that is the unfortunate thing but one thing that we all have in common is that we want Joshua versus Wilder next I don't particularly want Joshua versus Povetkin next that's just my opinion and I don't want Wilder versus Brazil next as we know, for a couple of months now, Brazil has been on a promise that he's going to be fighting Wilder next with a date of August. So, and it's not that I'm against Wilder versus Brazil or Joshua against Povetkin. It's just that what if one of these guys lose? That's a bit of an issue for me because I want to see Joshua versus Wilder. I want to see Joshua spark out Wilder cold. That's all I want to do. That's all I want. And I think both sets of fans can agree that that's what we want. We don't want to see Wilder vs. Brazil. We don't want to see Joshua vs. Povetkin. Unless we have a guaranteed date for the future. Hopefully before the end of the year. But if he's going to be fighting Povetkin in, in September, which is when the WBA wanted it, not anything to do with Joshua already, Hen, then a fight for the end of the year is kind of unlikely between Joshua and Wilder because obviously... He's going to want a bit more time to recuperate after the fight, especially if it's going to be a hard fight. And for me, as I've said plenty of times before, I see Povetkin as a harder fight than Wilder. Wilder hits harder, no doubt about it. But for me, I think Povetkin is all-rounded a better fighter. But either way, is he going to go to Russia? There's nothing to say he's going to go to Russia. That was just Ryabinski and his team um, where they say that if necessary, if they can't agree on the terms because obviously they have a certain amount of terms that they will agree to fight in the UK if not then we'll go to purse bid for Russia that is pretty much where all that come from so anyway I just want to settle all that really that it's not about Joshua willing to go to Russia but not willing to go to America as I said before it's about undisputed we want undisputed on British soil if for example Joshua vacated the WBA there's no reason why he can't fight Wilder next in America because it's not for undisputed anymore I don't know if that makes sense. As I said, both sets of fans can agree on that point, right? Surely, surely. I mean, that's all we're asking for is that a undisputed on British soil. That's all we're asking for. And no, Joshua has not said that he's willing to go to Russia. He hasn't said that at all. And with Wilder, all he's got to do is accept whatever deal. You know, kind of say, right, okay, I believe I'm worth this much. Eddie, um, are you going to pay me this much? Yes? Great. Signed. Obviously, depends what's in the contract as well. If it's unreasonable for the traveling and the promotion of it all and whatever, um, if Eddie Hearn was to ask Wilder to disrupt his training camp, then obviously no, that's, an, that's no good. And it's exactly the same way with this $50 million offer. The things inside the contract, the fine prints, weren't good enough. That's all it was. But ultimately, it is about having a fight in the UK for Undisputed. I hope this is cleared up now that Povetkin and Joshua, they do have a date penciled in or a time frame of September but that's because the WBA put it there only if they can't come to terms with Deontay Wilder but let's hope 
that they do come to terms with Wilder. Because this whole thing is getting ridiculous. People are hating on Eddie Hearn for no reason other than racial. They're hating on Joshua for no reason other than the fact that they're supporting Wilder. And that's winding me up. And then I'm going in on Wilder. And obviously the fans are going in on me. And AJ fans are going in on Wilder fans. And we're all arguing. Me against other channels. Really, two fighters we don't know. But of course these other people, they seem to think that they're some kind of big I am and the narrative on boxing, you don't, that's all it is. These guys are just, well the grass is to be honest is what they are. You know, they will do anything that they can to try and get the upper hand, but we know the truth. They're just trying to be bullies, it ain't gonna work. All right, they're not good enough. But as I said, we can all agree on one thing. Wilder and Joshua, we want next. Get this crap over with. Whoever wins, wins. Whoever loses, loses. It's not the end of the world for anybody, okay? I'm not going to start losing sleep over it, and hopefully they don't either, if Wilder was to lose. Life happens. This is what happens in boxing. Heavyweight boxing. Joshua could go in there against Wilder, dominate him for 11 rounds, and then get clipped in round number 12. It could happen. Other way around. Maybe Wilder's going to school Joshua for 11 rounds, and then Joshua's going to crack him in the 12th round and win. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. That's all it is. So anyway, I hope that's kind of cleared things up a little bit as far as the Povetkin situation happens. Hopefully it has that. It's not Povetkin, it's not Joshua who says September, it's the WBA who have said this. So drop your thoughts below, click that thumbs up, subscribe. Catch you all on the next video.